Welcome to our tutorial for today, which will discuss how to create a simple tool path for a CNC router. So let's first of all start off with a simple sign. So I'm going to make that here using a center point rectangle. Let's just make the sign uh, 10 inches by 10 inches. And now we'll extrude that. Let's go negative one. There we go. Okay, now we'll create another sketch and create our text. It's going to go from corner to corner and let's type in thank you. Perfect. And we'll do a one inch height there. Great. Alignment can be a center and center other than rather than that, I should say. Perfect. Okay, so of course you can put whatever text or whatever type of geometry you would like there. Now we're going to extrude that as well. Let's uh, exit out of our profile. We're just going to go to our text that we just created. Now this is important to note that uh, the depth at this point doesn't matter. Um, you will select the geometry and Fusion will create uh, the proper depth based on your cutter geometry. So I will prove that later. Let's just go uh, 0.5 inches, <clears throat> half an inch. There we go. All right, so now we're finished our geometry. Let's go into the manufacturer workspace. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna go very simply here. Let's just change our setup, new setup. And for our stock, just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to remove our stock. No additional stock is just gonna be the size of our 10 inch by 10 inch by one inch uh, that we extruded previously. There we go. Now we're going to go to 2D and engrave. Perfect. Let me just slide that on over there. So here, this is what I'll prove for you is uh, we're going to select the tool. Let's go here. Let's go to milling tools inch. I'm going to go to our engrave chamfer. <clears throat> and let's select this half inch by 45 degree tool. There. Let's drag it in there. Copy tool. We're going to paste tool. And I'm going to just change this here. <clears throat> Sorry, let's go back to our tools, to a library. Let's go to our setup here, untitled. Now, let's just create a couple tools. We're going to edit the second one. And this is going to be a 60 degree tool. Cutter, let's change our angle here. There we go. Oh, no, that's sorry. We're going to have to go to 30. There we go. Let's accept that. And let's go here. And we'll do a 15 degree. Why not? Okay. <clears throat> Perfect. I'm just going to rename this so it doesn't confuse anyone. There we go. Okay, so we've got a 45, we've got a 15 degree, and we've got a 30 degree. I'm not going to fuss with creating any uh, tool holders or anything like that. Let's just show you what each of these looks like. Okay, so let's go back to our cutting tool path, our engrave. We're going to select our first tool being, uh, let's start off with the 45 degree. Great, so at this point for our geometry, we're going to select every single one here. Yeah, that's a little bit tedious. There we go. Our heights. Don't worry about our bottom height here. It will, again, automatically calculate. And I'll prove that to you in a moment. But let's just press OK. There we go. Our tool path is complete. Let's just prove it. We're going to go to Simulate. Now. As you see here, our tool, our 45 degree fusion calculates it automatically and it will create those sharp corners on the end of each of our, in this instance, uh, the font. So you can see as the tool will go, it hits the end of each letter. It will move up on the appropriate angle. Fusion will calculate all of that geometry 
and it will create a beautiful sign using your CNC router. All right, so that's the 45 degree. Now let's just change it. Let's go into our tool. We're going to select our 30 degree tool now. So again, you can see now it has calculated the depth automatically. The height, our bottom height doesn't matter. We don't have to change anything. Fusion will automatically calculate that for us. You can see that one more time. I'm just gonna go into heights. The bottom height here is minus 0.411. And let's just change it to our 15 degree tool. There we go. Now look at our tool path is even deeper because Fusion automatically calculates that. And look at this, our bottom height is now at 0 0.88. And this will do the exact same thing. If we go to simulate, Oh, okay, well, no, obviously <laughs> that's creating some issues because of our tool. So let's just go back to our tool and pick a 30 degree and it shouldn't, it shouldn't mess up on us there. There we go. Let's simulate. Yeah, there's no collisions. Perfect. Let's just slow it down there for everyone. And you can see as the tool comes along the path, as soon as it gets to a corner, to an end, it will move up on the appropriate angle and finish that letter perfectly. So I hope you found this uh, tutorial useful. If you have, please, I would really appreciate if you were to subscribe, like, comment, uh, do whatever you can to support this channel. I'm going to come up with uh, a bunch of tutorial videos and uh, you can check out my other lessons as well. I'm teaching a workshop right now where uh, there'll be hopefully a new tutorial or new lesson every week, maybe a couple of week, but I uh, really would appreciate your support. So all the best. Hopefully get to see you next video. Take care.